Hey guys, welcome to a special episode of Grub for the Hub. Um, today we are going to be baking lemon bars. It's not really a special per se, um, but usually I do not bake in the episodes. I just cook dinner. Um, but I do love to bake, and this is one of the recipes that I got um, for lemon bars that I really like. So hopefully you will like it too. I'm going to show you what we're going to start out with, and then we can get the steps going from there. All right, so what you're going to start out with is two cups of flour, and into that we've mixed one cup of confectionate sugar, um, and then just kind of fork it around and stir it up and mix it pretty good. You can also use a sifter and get it mixed well as well together that way as well. That was a lot of wells. Um, okay, so to your flour and your confectionate sugar mix, you're going to add two sticks of um, room temperature butter and this is going to be your crust. Um, so I'm just going to open these up and then I'll show you what to do from there. Okay, so all we did was drop our butter into here and now all we're going to do is just take it, uh, make sure you have like an extra hand, that way you can actually hold on to the thing and take it and kind of fork it around um, and it will start to become dough um, for your crust and then I'll show you what to do from that step as well. I'm just going to put you down and work on this. Um, that way I have an extra hand to hold on to the bowl for me. Okay guys, so when you're done mixing up um, all of the flour and the confectionate sugar and the butter, this is what it'll look like. Um, now, I just mixed it um, actually into, like forked it around into the flour and sugar mixture um, for about like two minutes and then I gave up and just started kneading it in there. Um, and then that's how I got this. So your next step is to grease your pan. So after you're done greasing your pan, make sure you, um, when you are greasing it, you get up the sides of the pans as well. That way it doesn't stick at all. Um, so take your dough from your mixing dish and then place it in here. And then you're just going to kind of squish it all around the pan um, and then make it into the crust and then we'll throw it in the oven. All right, guys, so this is what it'll look like once you've um, kind of smoothed it into your pan or kneaded it kind of up in your pan. Um, you can go up the sides a little bit. That way, not all of your filling when you bake that um, will run everywhere. Um, so, ooh, be careful. It's kind of heavy with one hand. You're going to place that into your preheated oven. Um, okay, so once you place um, your crust into the oven. You're just going to bake it for 15 to 20 minutes um, until it becomes slightly golden brown, a little undercooked um, because it's just going to bake through once more when you throw the t like the topping of like the lemon custard into it. Um, so it's going right now and then we'll get everything ready for the filling. Alright, so it's time to make our um, our middle part, our filling for the bars. Um, so what you're going to start out with is six tablespoons of lemon juice, um, preferably freshly squeezed. Um, you have two cups of sugar, and then on top is six tablespoons of flour. Uh, the flour is more for binding. And then what you're going to do is do four eggs and whisk those about. So just do a quick whisk to it and dump that right into your lemon juice and then kind of mix it around a little bit more. And then what you're going to do is gradually add your your dry ingredients to your wet. Um, so that is good for right now. And then you're just going to whisk it around. You can also use a mixer and mix it, um, but really it's super simple. So I really don't see a need to do that. Um, so you'll mix it. Alright, so after you're done mixing everything together, um, all your dry and wet ingredients, you're just going to pour it right over top of your preheated crust um, that's been baking. And then, and then what you're going to do is um, just be careful, that was really hot. So after you guys are done mixing your, um, like the filling together, you're just going to place it in on top of your crust, place it in the oven. Um, that same oven that is preheated at three, or 
sorry, 350, um, and you're just going to bake it for 25 more minutes. Sorry, just setting the timer. Um, and then once that is done, you're going to take it out of the oven and then uh, let it cool for about two minutes and then put your powdered sugar on top um, and cover it. You don't have to do that if you don't like that much sugar, uh, but I know my family loves that. So hopefully yours will too. All right, guys, so here's our finished product. Um, they made a little bit extra. There's more in there, but I couldn't fit them all on the platter. I think I might actually cut them in half, too. Um, I'm taking them to a family event tomorrow. That way it'll give more, and they're really um, sweet, so they'll cut down on that as well. Um, but they are delicious. I actually ate one, and um, it's not too tart, and it's not too sweet. Perfect bite in each, like, each little bite that you take. So hopefully you enjoy it.